Welcome to another Digital Anarchy tutorial. In this tutorial, we're going to talk about Beautybox 4.0 and near real time speeds within Resolve if you have uh, the right video card. In this case, we're using one of the new Mac Pros. And as you're going to see, we're going to get somewhere between 12 and 14 frames a second with that machine. If you have something like a newer NVIDIA card, you will probably see even better speeds. But we're pretty happy with the results. You have the same great high quality retouching that Beautybox is famous for, and now you have extremely fast rendering, as you expect in Resolve. So let's dive into it. In this tutorial, we're really just going to go over the basics, show you exactly how to use Beautybox, and take advantage of what it has going on. So the first thing I'm going to do is actually delete this instance of Beautybox. And what you need to do to apply it is come over to your Open Effects panel, grab Beauty Box, and drag it onto your clip. And that's going to load it up in the settings of the Open Effects panel. And the first thing we're going to do is scroll down to the bottom and click on Analyze Frame. And what Analyze Frame is going to do is figure out what the skin tones are of the image and build an automatic mask. So I'm going to click on that. It's going to figure out what those skin tones are. And simply by making that change, we've gone from that to that. And so that removes a lot of the skin damage that she has. The smoothing may be a little bit overdone, but we can change that. But the first thing, let's take a look at what our mask looks like. We can go down to Show Mask and click on that. And that will give us an idea of what the mask looks like. And Analyze Frame usually does a very good job of selecting the skin tones. Uh, if you want to touch the mask up a little bit, and in this case we really don't, this is really a pretty good mask. But you can come over to your mode pop-up and select Add Color. And if you want to add a skin tone, say if you really want to add these darker shades here. If we turn the mask off, you can see that this area represents skin tones that are very much in shadow. We don't really recommend making those part of the mask. Uh, the problem is, well, first off, there's really not that much detail in there, so you're not really seeing much in the way of skin texture. And two, if you expand the skin tone range to include them, you'll also include other darker areas of the image, like the trees or parts of the house. You just want to make sure that the areas of skin that are fairly well lit up are selected in the mask, and in this case, they are. But if you want to expand that skin tone range, you can use Add Color. We can use the Hue, Saturation, and Value ranges to increase the contrast of the mask. So let's grab Add Color and actually click on her chin to add in some of the skin tones there. Now one thing you want to make sure of is down in the lower left corner here, we have a pop-up, and you want to have this set to Open Effects Overlay. That will allow the Open Effects plug in to click on that mask and expand the skin tone range. As we have here. And we can keep clicking and it'll expand even more. And so this looks pretty good, but we might want to tighten the contrast up a little bit and we can adjust the hue and saturation range to do that. And so that creates a little bit better mask. And actually, there's some skin tones on her chest that I want to include. So we'll go ahead and include those. And on her cheek. And that looks good. All right, so that's how you make tweaks to the mask if you want to make changes. Again, just use the Add Color mode and then change the Hue, Saturation, and Value ranges. So once we've got our mask, it's going to track those skin tones throughout the entire video clip. So if we move around the timeline, no matter what she does, whether she moves her head, whether she goes off camera and comes back on, you can see that it's still keeping that mask really nice and tight on her skin tones. And so that looks great. And so we'll turn the mask off. And now it's a matter of dialing in the amount of smoothing that you want to have. And so we have three controls up here, smoothing amount, skin detail smoothing, contrast enhance, and it's really a matter of just kind of tweaking these until you get the look that you're happy with. And we're going to turn these down just a little bit. We're going to turn in Contrast Enhance up. And Contrast Enhance sort of offsets the contrast loss that you get when you apply a little bit of smoothing to the footage. 
And so that'll bring back a little bit of the contrast. But overall, it looks good. Just want to dial in the look that you are going for. And that's really about it. Basically, you just click on Analyze Frame to let the plugin automatically select the skin tones, make any tweaks that you want in the mask area here, and then dial in the look that you're going for. So those are the basics. Uh, there is some additional functionality, of course, in Beauty Box. You can sharpen a bit. Uh, we have color correction built into it. Now, if you're in a powerful color corrector like Resolve, you're probably going to want to do the color correcting there. But for very simple color corrections, Viewbox has some stuff built into it. One of the nice things about this is you can use the mask to make adjustments. So if we want to turn on Use Mask and, say in this case, dial down the saturation, you can see that for the most part, it's just going to affect the skin tones. So that is one nice thing about doing color correction within Beautybox. But overall, you're in Resolve, you've got some amazing color correction tools, and so we usually recommend doing the color correction there. Shine removal, if you have bright lights interacting with oily skin, that can sometimes create hot spots. Shine removal will help you remove those. And Use GPU is a critical component to Beautybox. If you do run into any problems with Beautybox, artifacts, crashes, anything like that, the first thing to do is turn off Use GPU. It's possible that the GPU is conflicting with what Resolve is doing, uh, conflicting with other plugins. So this is always a great troubleshooting tool. Of course, if you are running into problems, make sure that the graphics drivers are up to date. If you have an NVIDIA card, make sure that the latest version of CUDA is installed. Uh, all important things. And of course, you can always email or call us if you need additional help. And then last but not least are the presets. So if you want some built-in color styles, different looks for your footage, you can always grab the preset. And this will have some interesting color effects that you can kind of sort through and apply to your footage. Very easy stuff. And of course, they don't all look great on every piece of footage, but they are a quick and easy way of adding some spice to your footage. Yes, bad puns are all part of good tutorials, right? All right, so that's pretty much the basics of Beauty Box. Again, first thing you want to do is use Analyze Frame to have Beauty Box figure out what the skin tones are, make some tweaks to the mask if you feel it needs it, and then dial in the smoothing amounts, the look that you're going for, and you should be pretty much good to go from there. And if you want to play that back, then you come on down to the timeline, play it back. And you can see in this case, we're getting about 10 to 12 frames. Uh, that's because we're recording a tutorial at the same time. If I am not recording a tutorial, I'm getting somewhere between 12 and 14 frames a second on this middle of the line uh, new Mac Pro with the two AMD D500 cards. If you have a Windows machine with some of the newer NVIDIA cards, you're gonna get probably pretty close to real-time performance. Uh, those cards are really great. We love the GTX 980. It's a great card for the, uh, for the money. But either way, it's considerably faster than Beautybox 3.0. So we think you'll enjoy it quite a bit. And uh, thanks for joining me. You can head over to digitalanarchy.com for more tutorials, free demo filters, some other free goodies over there. We've got lots of resources up on the website for doing retouching. And of course, we have free trials of all of our other great filters, as well as Beautybox. So anyways, check out digitalanarchy.com, and thank you for joining me, and we'll see you in the next tutorial.